All right, here I'm making a video. Uh, this is kind of an interesting little thing I'm doing here. Uh, I made a stand for this iPod out of a milk bottle. I just sort of cut a slot in the top and I'm sitting it here on a couple of books. And I thought I would form up this picture with a little incriminating evidence in the background. There's a familiar shaped bottle uh, to my right. And um, probably when this plays, it'll be on the left. So I'm just fooling around with an iPod now, making a very short video. The uh, whole purpose here is to show what this stand looks like. And I'm going to do that right now, but I'm going to do it by using a mirror. And let's see if this works. So here you can see, <laughs> you can see my iPod on top of a milk bottle and all I've done is to cut a slot in the milk bottle top so the iPod can sort of sit there. And it doesn't really have to be too sturdy and it doesn't have to be very fancy. And so that iPod is sitting there and you can see my little picture in it. When I take this mirror away, you won't see the stand in the iPod anymore. You'll just see me. But I just wanted to make the point that, you see, way far back, perhaps you can see what's going on here. There's the iPod on top of this milk bottle. So you don't have to have any very fancy equipment in order to make movies with an iPod. Here, I've just cut sort of a slot about a quarter inch wide in the middle of a, the uh, top of a milk bottle and it's perfectly adequate for making movies like this. Now the iPod I found gives very good sound quality and very good picture quality for the purpose of doing these kinds of informal videos. In fact, the quality is probably about as good as you would have gotten out of some commercial equipment 10 or 15 years ago. And it's certainly adequate for an instructor keeping in touch with an online class. Now, any of my students that need to make videos in order to, pro to provide presentations to me, this is just another little demonstration of how easy it is to do with this very fine piece of equipment, an iPod, which costs less than $200. And you don't even have to get a very high capacity one. Even the 8 gigabyte model is just fine. It's just fine for this purpose. Just don't load it up with too much music. Leave some room in there for your videos. And then, at the click of a button, you can upload the video to YouTube. And just send me the URL and I'll see it. And if you're concerned about everybody in the known universe looking at your stuff, then make your video unlisted. And only the people who you give the URL to will be able to see the video. One more little handy hint on how to make distance learning very convenient for students and for instructors. My name is Jim Janesey. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.